what is matzah and what matzah should I use for Pesach? It is so confusing. Well, matzah is a flat uh, cracker-like bread made out of the five species, wheat, barley, rye, oats, and spelt, which has been uh, mixed with water and, uh, and baked in the oven in within 18 minutes. That's the process. Anything more, the, uh, the, the dough starts to ferment and we have a problem of chametz. Most people, 99% of the world, buy their, buy their matzah prepared through factories or hand-baked matzah. Uh, some people do make their own matzot, and that was the tradition back in the day and in certain communities today. But for most of us, we go to the, the local shop and pick up a, a box with, uh, with kosher Pesach on it for our matzah. Now, what matzah can be used uh, over Pesach? As long as it has a kosher Pesach sign, you can use it for Pesach, no problem. There is a tradition that says that for the Seder night, you should try use what is called regular matzah. No, uh, no additives, not egg matzah, not anything else for your Pesach Seder. There is a strong tradition to use hand-baked matzah. Why? Well, that's a tradition that goes back 3,000 years. And when I'm holding up my hand-baked matzah, I can say with hand on heart that this is the bread that my father and my ancestors ate all those years back in Egypt and throughout the, the 3,000 years of Jewish history. Because machine-baked matzah is actually quite modern. It's only about 200 years old uh, when the first machines started being used for baking matzah. Watch the video about the controversy about matzah, uh, about matzah, uh, machine-baked matzah and versus hand-baked matzah. However, most people use the, uh, the square matzah sheets for their seder. And how much you have to uh, eat and use, click on the link there for the, uh, the video about how much matzah you should be eating at your seder. So matzah, what one should you have? Well, the honest truth is, it's really a matter of taste. There are so many different brands of matzah. Find one that, uh, that, uh, that really uh, you enjoy, and that's the matzah for you. Some people have a tradition to have what is called only shmura matzah. What is shmura matzah? Well, the tradition, the main matzah, basic matzah, is watch from flour hitting water. Shmura matzah is making sure that, that no water has hit the uh, has hit the flour or, or the the grain from the moment that it was cut in the fields until the matzah is actually baked. That is what shmura matzah means. And since the process of watching this matzah is so much more intense and so much more uh, to require so much more time, it obviously means it's going to be so much more expensive. And that is uh, that is the tradition of the shmura matzah versus the regular matzah in terms of taste. Again, it's not better or worse in terms of taste. Every t everyone has their personal favorite brand of matzah. Which one's your favorite? Put in the notes in the, in the comments below. I'd love to hear. So we basically have three different types of matzah which we can use at your pace of Seder. Number one, the traditional machine-baked matzah from the factory. Those who are a bit stricter will use shmura matzah, either machine-baked ones or the hand-baked ones. It's becoming much more popular today to try and have hand-baked matzah. And in Ashkenazi tradition, they're very flat, cracker-like. In the Sephardi tradition, it ha they have what is called soft matzah, which is more like a pita. But the traditional Ashkenazi Jews have never followed, the, followed that way. But if you have a Sephardi tradition, and, that, and that's the, the matzah that you have, you'll look at the Ashkenazi tradition of the crackers and go, what is that? That's a cracker, it's not bread. Uh, whereas the, uh, the, the Ashkenazi would look at our Sephardi brothers and go, what on earth are you eating? That looks like a pizza. That doesn't look like a, like a Pesach uh, matzot. The traditions have evolved over the years. And whatever your tradition is, that's the one you should ultimately follow. Click on the link to follow for more. Hi, this is Rabbi Lua, and if you've enjoyed the content of the sermons and the ideas that have been expressed in the YouTube video, please hit that first subscription button and notification bell and share the videos with friends. We'd love to grow the channel and love to engage with you. Please share your comments in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. Have an amazing day.